Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the element.closest method in JavaScript. Okay, so essentially uh, this method gets called on an actual element itself and you pass through um, some selectors just as you would with the query selector method. However, this one is going to be traversing up um, the element tree. So up all the parents, up all the ancestors until it finds an element which matches um, the selector that you passed through so it's really useful and definitely uh, yeah uh, definitely one of the more useful methods I've found recently so um, one of the uh, one of the use cases I've thought of for this is going to be event listeners let's just say you have a button and you want to be able to make it so when you press on that button, it's going to close or hide the element that it's inside of. Something like that. You can definitely use this method to achieve that if you need to. So let's jump right into an example inside the text editor uh, by firstly uh, just creating um, a few elements here. So I can say div with a class of special dash div. Then inside here, I can make a span with an ID of my span, for example. Then lastly inside here, let's make a strong with an ID of my strong. Inside here, I can just say, for example, hey, how are you? Okay, cool. So now let's go inside the JavaScript and get a reference to this strong element right here. And basically, we're going to be using the closest method to retrieve this div right here from this one. So inside the JavaScript, Let's firstly get a reference to the strong. I can say const my strong equal to document.query selector. Pass through here a selector which selects the element with the ID of my strong, of course, referring to this one right here. So now let's go and console.log my strong.closest, just like that and then pass through here a selector. So, of course, this is basically going to work, uh, you know, just as you would with query selector or with CSS. You're going to pass through something like, for example, dot special dash div. And this right here, like I said, it's going to traverse up the element tree from here, then to here, then to here, until it finally reaches an element with a class of special dash div. Okay. And now let's save this and refresh the browser. And we can see here, we of course get the div um, in the console. Okay, so um, of course that's only useful um, when you don't actually know the parent elements of this strong. Like I said, if this right here is a button, for example, and you need to go up to a certain element, you don't know where it is because that information isn't available to you, you can definitely use the closest method to uh, retrieve that information. Um, now, I do want to also point out that if you pass through a selector which is going to um, match against the current element, so the my strong, for example, let's pass through strong, it is going to be retrieving the element which you called it on. So by passing through strong here, it is going to check strong first, it's going to match and of course return the strong element. So let's save this and refresh once again and we get the strong right there. And the last situation here is going to be if you pass through um, you know, uh, a selector that does not match. So for example, let's pass through um, an EM element, for example. Of course, right now there is no EM element on the page, so it's going to give us null. Let's save this and refresh, and of course we get null in the console right there. So that is the element.closest method in JavaScript. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.